Welcome to Zoho Sales IQ. This video will focus on teaching you how to install the Sales IQ Mobilism SDK in your iOS application. The Sales IQ Mobilism SDK for iOS lets you add live chat and tracking to your application, using which you can actively assist and engage with your users. Let me tell you how this works. The Sales IQ Mobilism SDK has to be installed in your iOS project using CocoaPods or by manual installation using the framework. Let's discuss the requirements. The Mobilism iOS SDK is compatible with iOS 10.0 or higher. Also, make sure that you are using Xcode version 11.4 or above for your development environment. In this video, we will be using Zilka Homes as the demo app. Installation using CocoaPods To add the Mobilism SDK to your iOS app, as the first step, you need to add the Mobilism pod to the pod file present in the project directory. If you do not previously use CocoaPods in your project, run the pod init command from the project directory using the terminal. Running the command would create the required pod file, which will be used for the installation. Open the pod file in the project directory and add the Mobilisten pod as a dependency as shown and save the file. Now, run the pod install command to proceed with the installation. Once pod installation is complete, open your project.exe workspace in Xcode and navigate to the appdelegate.swift file in your project. Once opened, add the import Mobilism statement. After Mobilism is imported, call the Zoho Sales IQ dot init with app key API from Mobilism. With the init statement, the app key and access key generated for the app must be provided. We look at how these keys are generated next. The bundle ID of your app will be used to generate the app and access keys from the Sales IQ console. Copy the same from project settings to proceed to the next steps. Navigate to the brand for which the keys are to be generated and proceed to the installation page for iOS. Use the bundle ID to generate the app and access keys as shown and provide the keys in the init statement that was previously added. If you wish to show the default live chat launcher in your application, scroll down in the installation page and turn on the toggle to make the default live chat launcher visible as shown. Please note that this step is optional and you may use the Zoho Sales IQ.chat.show API to launch chat from a custom button of your own. Now, choose your preferred run target and run the project. After the build succeeds, the app is launched and you will see the live chat launcher on your app. Thank you.